I love the show so much. Um, it's raised my game as an actor, but saying goodbye to Fred Waterford himself is not so tough. Boy, the fans deserve it. Fred is, in many ways, the face of all that's abhorrent about the regime. You know, ordinarily actors love playing baddies. It's something we relish. But this this guy is just, uh, he's the wrong kind of baddie. And June sticks it to him. And I think we need that. So I can't wait to hear their response. I hope, like me and like the rest of the cast, uh, they'll be on their feet applauding. It's taught me to fight for rights, for women's rights in a big way. My daughters are all for women's rights. Uh, luckily, they've grown into now a movement which is totally switched on. I mean, can we believe we're even talking about this now? It should have been switched on hundreds of years ago. I, I guess it's just reminded me in, in doing the show of how, how fragile democracy is, uh, sharing is, and how we mustn't go to sleep um, rather like our show, it's a cautionary tale on not going to sleep on, on all that's precious. Um, and so I feel much more alert and awake to, to this conversation. My dream role now is to do a really cheesy 80s remake comedy. Uh, that's what I want to do. I want Disney to ring me up and say, well, look, we're looking for a, a dad figure in a cheesy comedy uh, where I don't have to wear double-breasted suits and a beard. <laughs>